A genetic trait may protect Hispanic women from developing breast cancer by as much as 80 percent, according to a new study published today. With analysis, we're joined now by WSJ senior science reporter Lee Holtz. Lee, thanks so much for being with us. Uh, it's always a pleasure. Can you briefly summarize the findings for us? Well, uh, today, researchers at the University of California at San Francisco, medical geneticists and cancer specialists, are reporting that they have finally found the reason why uh, many Latina Hispanic women uh, in the U.S. Um, have faced a dramatically lower risk of developing breast cancer. Uh, and the reason is one single character of DNA in the three billion biochemical letters of genetic code that make up our human genome, just one single variation, that great long, yes. endless stream of uh, genetic code, which is a kind of astonishing in two ways. One, that such a small variation can make it such an enormous difference to health and well-being, and two, that they can detect it. Absolutely. And if it comes from both sides of the family, it can decrease the chance of getting breast cancer by as much as 80 uh, percent? As much as lower the risk by as much as 80 percent. Incredible. Now, we're talking about um, a, a genetic variant uh, that is not inherited equally by all women of Hispanic or Latino descent. Yeah, so which women are most likely to have this? Yeah, it, it appears to trace the origins uh, as best they can tell at the moment, and this is research that's mm -hmm. still evolving. Uh, they've traced it to uh, the indigenous uh, uh, American populations of Central and South America. Uh, okay. So uh, how uh, likely your, uh, it is that you, that you inherited this is completely dependent on you know, wh where your parents come from, where do their grandparents come from. You know, we talk about family histories of breast, breast cancer and such. In a way, ethnicity is, of course, family history writ large. Sure. You know, and uh, if you are of uh, Latin American descent as opposed to sort of more European Spanish descent, then you are more likely to sort of have this uh, guardian genetic. Well, I was going to say, my mother is Cuban. She has three mm -hmm. sisters. And out of the four women, two got breast cancer. So clearly, our family is not blessed with this genetic trait, <laughs> unfortunately. But I guess it is more if you have an indigenous background, which doesn't happen to be the case in my family. Well, I'm sorry for that. Yes. Um, well, they, they beat it. They ah, beat it. So excellent. it's all good. It's all excellent. good news at excellent. this point. Um, but so what can we do now with this information? How can researchers use this genetic trait that they've identified to help other women? Well, that's an excellent question. And of course, the very first thing they need to do is to confirm this and to sort of really do the analysis and the experiments to better understand what this tiny genetic variation is doing. Um, to confer this protective benefit. Uh, there is a strong possibility in the short run that this is going to mean we can screen women at risk much more effectively uh, to determine which women should take more extreme protective measures by eliminating women at lesser risk uh, and saving them uh, the heartache and the trouble of, uh, that, that many women who are at high risk, say, in, uh, women of um, Ashkenazi Jewish descent um, sure. face because they have a higher uh, likelihood of inheriting a, a, a mutation that's going to make them more likely to get breast cancer. The, in the longer run, what's interesting here is there's so much genetic research um, into cancers of all sorts, but breast cancer in particular has focused understandably on finding genetic variations, genetic mutations that put women at greater risk. This is really the first time they've been able to find something that is so strongly protective. And in the very long run, if they can start to understand exactly what this genetic variation is doing, they mm -hmm. suspect it has something to do with regulating uh, production and levels of the hormone estrogen, which uh, some forms of breast cancer uh, are much more aggressive if there's a higher level of estrogen. Uh, some forms of breast cancer are indifferent, but if they can nail that down, it's quite possible in the very long run that you could use this as a basis for a treatment that could possibly help all of those women, like your family, for instance, Absolutely. who did not inherit this variation. That would be very exciting if that comes to pass. Thank you so much, Lee, for that. Quite well.